Hi, this is Dave. Mr. Bushnell, this is Ben Higgins. Ben, how are you? I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, thank you. Uh, great to hear from you. Um, the reason I'm calling is that I love your daughter a lot, and I wish I wish I could have told you that when I was in Portland. I am so confident and so excited, um, and I am ready to try and make your daughter the happiest woman in the world forever. And I would like to ask you um, for your daughter's hand in marriage. Oh my gosh. Dan, those are words I, I, I only imagined hearing over the years when this time came and nothing more than a father wants than his daughter to meet the man of her dreams and, and a man who's going to love her basically and take care of her and I have no doubt in my mind he'll do that. So, yes, you definitely got my blessing. On behalf of the family, you've got our family's blessing. I just can't wait to uh, give you both a big hug when we get to see you next. Oh, uh, there'll be hugs all the way around, man. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you that. Wow. Give her our best and uh, have a great night, okay? All right. Thank you. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye. Woo! At the very beginning of this whole journey, I was terrified of being vulnerable, but more than anything, I was terrified of today. Of getting to this point, feeling the feelings that I feel, and getting my heart broken. Hi. Lauren. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. <sighs> I feel like I'm at my best when I'm with Ben. And as scared as I am, I don't doubt for a second that Ben loves me. But there's another person on the other side of this. I just don't know what they have. All right. I'm nervous. You ready? Yeah. All right. Cross the bridge. Ben's waiting for you. Gosh. Head on over. Good luck. I want to hear Ben tell me that he loves me. Not just one more time, but like for the rest of my life. I'm just overwhelmed, honestly. Like, this is too scary. Today will be either the best day of my life or the worst day. Hi. Well, you couldn't look more beautiful. You could not look any more handsome. Holy cow. How you doing? I cannot believe that I'm standing here right now. That first week sitting out there on the front steps of the mansion with you, and you asked me to trust you, I did, completely. That night kissing you for the first time, that was the last first kiss that I ever wanted to have. Coming into this whole thing, I didn't know that love like this existed. I thought it was a nice idea, and I thought, that it sounded nice when people talked about it, but I didn't really understand what it meant. And standing here now, I get it. You're the person I want to spend my whole life with. You are you're my person. I love you. I love you. I came into this honestly feeling unlovable. Like I couldn't be loved or that I was never gonna find that person to love me fully. And then we go through this experience that's in a journey that's full of goodbyes. But Lauren, I never wanna say goodbye to you. I wanna wake up every morning and kiss you on the face. I wanna to go to bed at night and know that in the morning I'm gonna wake up to the most beautiful woman I've ever laid eyes on. My desire from here on out is to live for you, commit to you, to love you, to hold you, 
kiss you a lot. Lauren, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. My final rose. Yes, give me that thing. <laughs> Let's celebrate. I think I need to take her out of here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Don't drop me, or you are toast. <laughs> That'd be a bad start to her. <laughs> Love you. I love you so much. We're engaged. We're engaged. Oh my god. We did it. <laughs> Yay!